I've always been attracted to garbage. Um, as a kid, I liked taking things apart. In fact, I took apart the family telephone when a babysitter was over and got in trouble. So then they started bringing me to the dump and I was allowed to bring one thing home specifically to take apart. I still sort of have a similar destructive uh, nature, but now I sort of like to break things and then put them uh, back together. And so that's sort of where all these, these uh, instrument ideas come from is this, you know, like the sound of garbage or, or discarded objects and, and also the idea that you're giving new life to the, these old things. I'm Matt Lorenz. This is the Suitcase Junket. Uh, and, you know, in a large degree, I was just trying to capture the motions that were already happening in terms of this all this whole foot percussion setup. And that was part of the original setup. It was just this suitcase, a hi-hat, and, um, and the washboard, and this one can drum. And then I sort of uh, just... Once I started building drums out of trash, I couldn't really stop. I couldn't, couldn't help myself. The guitar is literally a piece of garbage that I, I pulled out of a dumpster and sort of fixed up and, you know, put some stuff on it here to actually, it was mainly to make, to stop it from delaminating. Um, and I just hit, fell in love with it. I put a finish nail in for the saddle and a piece of square uh, bar steel for the nut up here, just as placeholders, but it sounded so good that I kept it. And I sort of tuned the, the strings to the body of the guitar so where it resonates the most. And at a certain point, I made a record with um, David Goodrich, Goody Goodrich, and he introduced amps. And so through the amps, it's just a whole different beast. And that was when I started singing through the little crackly amp too. And, you know, since then, it's just sort of like, well, how much noise can I make? Are you watching where you go? And lately, the sun won't rise. How many lies, how many lies have you left by the end of the day? You know, still know what you told them for. Oh, you're made to break. You're made to
it's always the people in the place. You know, as a musician, you get a really quick snapshot of every town. You know, you get like maybe two eateries, <laughs> you know, like a couple drinks, and then a room full of people to hopefully, you know, interact with in a positive way. So in every place I go, that's that's sort of the high the high point. My job as a musician is, or as a performer, is to get into a room and then try to make it feel things or feel something. Something, and so uh, that's why I never make a set list because I, you know, I have songs that I'll usually try first or try second, and these sort of ways that I'll try to open up a crowd, um, and then you sort of see how they feel after that. It's a, it changes the atmosphere of a room. You know, the way that everyone reacts, like everyone's a an active participant in the sound and the feeling of, of a space. And um, another way that I've been, you know, starting to experiment with making more noise is telling the audience to sing for me, which is really great because it, it opens up a whole other level for them of, of intimacy with me and with each other and with the room. And if you have people who are willing to go there with you, it really creates this magical space where you can, uh, you can feel each other in this way that, is unusual, especially in in these days of a little bit more insular um, digital uh, interfacing, uh, where we we don't find ourselves um, necessarily holding on to each other in ways in ways like that of of actually getting in a room and singing and, and uh, so. Making recordings is really fun, and it helps you to get your music into people's cars and and ears. Um, but my favorite is actually getting in a space with a whole bunch of people who are feeling things with me. It's the best. Well, I hope this is real, because if I've been dreaming, then when I wake from my rest, all my friends will be ghosts All my loves will be shadows Of my own mind exploring itself And that just seems so sad Deceitful and wanting That this whole life I've just been alone Oh, but I can't complain For I've seen some beauty and wherever I wake up, I call my just such a it's I write about it a lot in in the songs it's one of the most profound feelings that I have is this I don't know where it comes from I guess I grew up in the you know spend a lot of time in the woods and so the natural world specifically being in the forest near streams up on mountains and stuff just the, in this place it fills this part that doesn't get filled elsewhere you know like there's something about the Northeast um, that just it's where, I, it's where I belong. It's like, I'm, I'm from here, you know. I've tried living other places and it just doesn't, doesn't fly. So I don't know what that is. It's, 
I think the landscape is partially responsible for who I am, and so who would I be if I left? I don't know. But even if it's all been a smokescreen or a pageant, oh, I still like the way that it's aligned. And the truth don't mean much if it's been a good story. Oh, the shame, the glory, and the bones. Maybe all that we are is all we remember. But wherever I wake up, I call now.